A breakthrough drug was just approved for people diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. The rare genetic disorder makes it difficult to breathe and shortens lives. The doctors say it will bring new hope to patients and pave the way to a cure. KXAN's Alex Capriello visited with one UT student who has already seen the drug's positive effects. For his entire life, UT student Mac Rung has lived with cystic fibrosis. It just felt like I wasn't taking the oxygen I needed. But for the past year, he's felt better than ever. Within two weeks, I think my lung function jumped up about 10%, which is not something you usually see, especially in just the span of two weeks. Rung has participated in clinical trials for a groundbreaking new drug called Trikafta. Almost every patient in the country is going to want to be on this now. Doctors say there's nothing like it. Now FDA approved, it gets to the root cause of CF instead of just treating the symptoms of it. Two pills every morning with food and one pill at night with food. Very manageable. Early numbers suggest a hefty price tag. Rung said it's being offered for $311,000 a year. But doctors say that's a bill insurance companies should be willing to pay. That these are not just new designer drugs, but they're really something that's really going to have a huge impact on patients' lives. Rung says the cost goes beyond feeling healthy. It's about improving the quality of life for everyone. People like me will be able to go to college and get their degree without being held back by cystic fibrosis. That's something that would not have happened 10 to 15 years ago. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Doctors say they expect Trikafta to be offered to patients in Austin with cystic fibrosis within the next three months. There are more than 30,000 people in the U.S. living with cystic fibrosis. Each year, 1,000 new cases are diagnosed. Three quarters of patients are diagnosed by the age of two. More than half of CF patients are over the age of 18. It's important to note that when the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation formed in 1955, there weren't treatments for CF. Symptoms can vary widely. Up until now, most medications were only effective for people with specific mutations of CF. Because cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease, it's important to know your risks. Each time two CF carriers have a child, there's only a 25% chance the child will not have the disease and not be a carrier of the disease. Pharmaceutical giant Biogen now says it will ask the government to approve its experimental Alzheimer's medication. Clinical studies were put on hold back in March, but Biogen says new trials, which included more patients, showed much better results. The company plans to make the filing early next year. Biogen says the medication would be the first therapy to reduce the clinical decline related to it.